What up YouTube? This is the Young Chevy Truck YouTube channel where I plan on showing you how to build a 1984 Chevy C10 truck that just burns rubber, ain't meant to be fast, and only meant to be fun for you. And in this episode, I'm headed up to Summit Racing to get many, many things for this uh, C10. Well, I would like to hope many, many things. It all really depends on if I can afford it, if I can, you know, afford it right now. So I need a, a water pump. For those of you who are new, this is my 355 small block. It, uh, put together well they put together the bottom end for me and then I did the top end and everything so yep that's it looking clean looking fresh for those of you who are new to the channel and everything I know I gained a lot of you guys like like I gained like 30 of you just like that so that's crazy that's nuts and I'm really glad y'all are enjoying the channel and everything so well basically I came in here to do this intro to basically show you guys what I'm gonna be getting because I don't really remember all myself, so let me just go and let's look through this stuff real quick to make sure that we uh, take note of everything we need. So let's go look at it right now. Also, I'm not going to be putting the distributor in to the motor while the engine is outside like I thought because I wanted to actually turn the oil pump on maybe the day before. I'm actually going to start the engine up just to make sure everything is all lubed up nice. So that's, that's kind of why I'm waiting on that. And I figured since the hood of the truck is off, it's up there. Since the hood is off, I could probably reach the distributor situation a whole lot easier than I could before because before I had to do this sort of balancing act because the hood comes up right there and so you kind of have to scrunch yourself down real small to actually reach into that space. So I'm thinking just because the, since the hood is off, I might as well just keep the hood off and uh, put the motor in and then turn the oil pump, then put the distributor in and then set the... Uh, and then you know put the plug wires in and set the initial timing for the break-in of the cam. So that's what I'm going to be doing for that. So yeah, I, I thought I was going to just do it with the engine outside the car, but the hood's off, so I should be fine. Should be good to go. So I just wanted to address that while I was thinking about it. So now I've got myself a for real, for real list of what I'm going to be getting. I just wanted to make sure I had all my stuff together in my head before I told y'all. So uh, motor mount bolts for this right here. This situation, if it'll focus, there we go. For uh, that situation right there. And so also I'm going to be needing torque converter bolts and flywheel bolts as well as bell housing bolts for a TH400. So I'm taking the torque converter bolts, the old ones that came off of the truck with me when I go to the store just because they come in many different sizes. So when I buy them, I just want to make sure that I have the right size. So that's why I'm taking them. Although I am not taking the flywheel bolts with me because the flywheel bolts are all the same size. I even seen some for like, like it was mentioned that they can work for a Chevy and for a Ford also. So, and also I looked at the measurements and literally all the ones that you can buy from Summit Racing are the exact same size. So I'm not going to take the flywheel bolts off yet because I feel like it's just not needed. I guess I could take one with me, but I really don't think it's needed. Honestly, so yeah, there's that. And then, like I said, need the bell housing bolts for the TH400, and I think that's all I'm gonna get today. If I can get the water pump, then I will. But I'm, I'm actually, in, I'm still in between, guys. Comment below. What do you think? Do you think it's really a benefit? Especially because I'm gonna be driving this thing in traffic all the time. Do you think it is an actual benefit to having a high flow water pump to go along with my? big radiator that I'm going to be putting right here. So do you think it's a real benefit? I mean, I already have the three row radiator. It's going to hold a whole lot more fluid. So what do you think I really need to get a high flow water pump? I feel like it would complement it nice. I'm not really sure. I've never done it before. Comment below. Tell me what you think about that whole situation because I'm really not sure if, it's, uh, if it makes a big difference because I have a water pump. I could be using that. So just tell me what you think about that. If it makes an actual difference, then cool. If not, then I think I might just end up using a stock water pump and seeing what happens later on. Maybe I'll swap it down the road if I have some kind of, you know, issues. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to really be going for bolts. I know that sounds like a boring video, but, you know, me and Kevin Dean, we'll make it funny for you. We'll make it funny. I promise. And also, y'all, my homie has a 1973 Dodge Charger. And one day, I casually asked him at work, I was just like, yo, would you uh, let me do a review on it? He was like, yeah, why not? And so, 
now I basically have a plug on a 1973 Dodge Charger. So, uh, if you guys would want to see it, then I would push it a little bit harder and I would definitely try to put it into motion early instead of, you know, just focusing on me and focusing on my truck and everything. If you guys would want to see it, then I'll, I'll put it in motion faster. So comment below, would you want to see a review of a 1973 Dodge Charger coming from my perspective, my, my point of view? And cause you know, it's, it's an old school car, you know, I know it's not a Chevy, but it's an old school car and I love old school. So it will be really nice to have like a resume of doing reviews on classic cars. Now that will be dope. That's a big dream of mine. But anyway, I just wanted to see what you guys thought about that. Comment below. Tell me if I should really push that or if I should just focus on me right now. Did, what do you think? You know, what, is it something you would want to see? Also, R.I.P. to Mac Miller, man. God, I listened to Mac Miller when I was in like the eighth grade. And for those of you who don't know, I'm 21 now. So like, I was in the eighth grade, like a basically a baby listening to Mac Miller. It's really a shame, man. I'm gonna miss his music, for real. I mean, well, it's not like it's going away, but I'm gonna miss hearing new music from him. But anyway, y'all, enough of that sad stuff. I had to mention it, because that, that was just one of my favorite artists. So that's a little fun fact about me. Been loving Mac Miller since the beginning of time, since he first started out. But all right, y'all, I'm about to go retreat to Kevin Dean, because I could have swore he would come down here and, and make me shut up and so we can go about our day. But I guess he's waiting on me, so let me go get him. I'll be right back. Kevin Dean, mm -hmm. the people haven't seen you in forever. Mm-hmm. I've been undercover. You have anything to tell them on this new new camera set? This is their first time seeing you on the new camera set. Though. On the new camera set, I don't I look good? First of all, <laughs> <laughs> we headed out. One more step in the process. See what we can do in a couple hours, and then it's night night for me. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all good though. We're gonna. I just want to get some uh, some bolts, so then we can actually start putting in motion, putting the engine back in. There you go. Or the new engine in. Y'all, the fact that we just. Where were you parked? That, it must have been you, cause I. It must have been where you were parked today. Parked last oh, yesterday. Week. Yesterday or something, cause. I I could not have rode home and not seen this note on the windshield. Did you turn the windshield wipers on? No. That's probably, yeah, this, I think you just didn't notice it. Somebody hit my sentry, y'all. <laughs> it's jacked up. But they left their information, so I mean, I guess we can't really be mad at them. Well, clickbait. They hit my sentry. <laughs> <laughs> That's whack. People can't drive nowadays. <laughs> That's right, why we take the drive? Yeah. All right, y'all, so now we're waiting on parts. No, that's not much, but there you go. Kevin, you ain't got anything to say to the people. I know you got something. You always got something. I'm hungry, y'all. It's time to go get some snacks. You know what? You're right about that, because, uh... Snack machine, here I come. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Y'all, I got a homie that I need to get on the vlog, because he's too cool. So there's there's no way I'm not going to get him on the vlog. And he's also got a bike that he's going to have to let me ride one of these days. What is it he said it was? Or? I forget. There's so many numbers and letters. Six, 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 three, six, three, six, something. Yeah. But he, he makes it sound like it's dope, so I, I, I might have to Young Chevy bike review or something, you know. I know the scrape bike. on his elbows. I got a feeling he can lay it down. Oh, really? It's all good. It happens to the best of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I act like I actually ride bikes. Yeah, right. <laughs> But yeah, big collab coming soon because he's a really dope dude and he's gonna be making a YouTube channel about like, you know, all the adventures that he has, so definitely wanna collab with him. Alright John, something I do notice about carrying around a camera, especially like this, people almost look at it like like it's a gun or something. They like do. They, I was noticing that a like they, she looked at it like I was really ready to stick the place up right now. Like Is he recording us? <laughs> Oh but I mean, eh, they'll, be, they'll be all right. Oh my God. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. Oh look, here's something I do not need. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're oh, yeah. they, they, they looking good. Looking real good, man. Real good, you gotta check this vlog out, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gonna be you gonna be in this vlog, oh, all right? Yeah, you got any, anything you wanna shout out? Anything right now you wanna uh, shout, shout out? Shout out to my crop that I just got back. <laughs> Story coming soon. Yeah, Stay story tuned. coming soon. Collab coming story soon, coming right here. Soon. It's a good one. It's a. It's a good it's one. It's a doozy. <laughs>
But uh, let me grab this real quick for you. So did you pop? <laughs> did you pop a wheelie already? Nah, yeah. Oh, we all right. We're not gonna talk about that yeah, on the vlog. You're you gonna get yeah. kicked out. Of not, not on the vlog. <laughs> not on the vlog. <laughs> Kevin Dean over there chilling. We got his little. Got his little Pepsi. Got his little little. Uh, My trail mix. Uh huh. All right, y'all. We got what we came here for. Had to chop it up just a little bit. I guess they got some sort of event going on. I don't really know what's going on out here. But I don't really have time to hang around. So for those people who are waiting on me to hit them up, I just don't have time yet. But, you know, I'll make time sooner or later, one of these days. That truck is so nice. Wheel and tire size is perfect. Mm. That's exactly how big I would go for the truck, for my truck. Because, like, it's not... The tire isn't so thin to the point where you have to like be careful when you go over bumps. It's just thin enough to look a little bit better, you know? It's lower than your truck. Yeah, a little bit. Future might be the future of the C10. Might be. Oh my god. Whose man's is this? Cause this is this is perfect. Oh my God! I want a I want a suburban now. <laughs> Woo! Just look at it. I'm telling you. Uh, that's why you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so I can afford stuff like this. Uh oh. Oh, look what's what he got going on because in there? Well, nearly the engine's in the back of this thing. And this is a small block Chevy. <laughs> this is a small block Chevy in a Beetle. Wow. This guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This guy's nuts. Exterminate. That's when you know your car is is oddball and cool when a Z06 is just sitting right here and nobody's paying attention to it at all. And then everyone's over here looking at your oddball build. That's what I like. I like stuff like that. Stuff that's different. Dad. Look at all Dad, look at this. This needs to be me. And it's an 84. Got Canada plates on. I need to buy this. I, I need to. I need to buy this. God, it's amazing. It looks stock. It basically looks stock. That's awesome. Ooh, a lightning. This thing is too cool. This is a Gen 1. No way it's a Gen 1 and a Datsun. Oh my god. He's got a Gen 1 small block and a Datsun. Wow. Not a LS. Gen 1 small block and a Datsun. Amazing. This is... This has me written all over it. Stuff dreams are made of. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Another oh my god. Dad, I'm about to go broke. People finding the money and the time to do this. I'm about to go broke, Dad. There's so many. I gotta go talk to this guy. The wagon? Yeah. Or, well, who knows? People, not everybody. Let's let's go ahead and talk about this. We'll put this on the vlog. Y'all, not everybody is super comfortable with talking about their car, especially when you come around with a camera. They just don't, some people aren't that personable. Even though they show up to an event like this, they still don't want to be personable. So, you know, you gotta be careful about that type yeah. of thing. It would be a full-on event out here. Right when we happen to come out here. I guess they would tell you at the tables what's going on. Ooh. That wagon is too cool. Look at the tire size. It's perfect. <laughs> what? I love the small block and the Datsun. Like not an LS, but the Gen 1 small block and a Datsun. That's too cool. That too cool. Yeah, wow. same. And the headers are high too. The headers are about $800. Yeah. Plus, I've had these cars before they ever had an LS motor. Yeah. Wow. I got so much old school shit, I got to wear it all out for I do something. Yeah. Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm burning up out here, but I'm trying to bring y'all this, this beautiful content. It's so funny how, like, you don't even expect people to to be talkative about like their car right and then you say that one thing to get them going and then that's it i think that's so cool and the fact that when i have the red one uh-huh and the fact that it really doesn't matter what you look like in this in this whole car community yeah doesn't matter what you look like it's just cars they just bring people together yeah that's bring people together the fox oh this is a notchback too oh that is so cool <laughs> is it a stick what do you mean by 
this is the notch right there. This is not the uh, that's, that's a fastback, and this is a notch back. Okay. You see the difference? I'm, I have to take pictures of this Fox body real quick, just for Brandon. Brandon, this is for you. All right. I think that's all I got for y'all today because uh, I'm pretty sure this video is slowly getting longer and longer. <laughs> so, but I think it was a good day so far. Though just just to get all this little the little stuff in was nice. Good day because it was so pop up. Yeah. We didn't, it wasn't in the plan, but full of good, uh, what do you call it? Content. Good content. Uh-huh. All right, and I will see y'all when we get back at the house. All right, y'all. Uh, I think today's pretty much over, and I think this video is pretty much over, but I mean, I, uh, the summit trip took a whole lot longer than I thought it would, but it was just so much fun just seeing all these dope cars. I can't wait until I can actually bring my truck up there and, you know, I can publicize it and... You know, meet people who are subscribed to the channel and But I still have a lot of fun nonetheless, even though the truck isn't there. So we got all the bolts that we needed, like I showed you. I guess I I don't need to show you guys what I got again. But yeah, we got all the bolts that we needed to uh, actually put the motor back in. So that's probably gonna be the effort of the next time you see us, which might be might be tomorrow even. Or it might be Wednesday. But I won't make any promises because I'm not really sure. Just like that, y'all. I think this one's pretty much over. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, this is the second vlog on this new camera. I'm, like, super excited about it still. Uh, just, you know, taking pictures on it. I mean, also, by the way, with that being said, follow my Instagram at Young Chevy Truck because I'll put it down here somewhere. Because I actually have been taking really awesome pictures with this camera and I just can't wait to show y'all. So, and that's basically the best way to see it is uh, on my Instagram page. So, make sure you guys hit that up. And, uh, I also caught some really nice shots of different cars there. I know I caught, I caught pictures of a Ford. So don't, don't trip guys. It looked dope. So I had to do it. I had to take a picture of it. It was, it was lit. Anything else I got to tell y'all? I think that's pretty much it y'all. I might do a little video tomorrow. I might have three videos. I would love to have three videos out to y'all this week. And I would love to make it to 700 subscribers in the next two weeks, probably. But, I think that's all I got for y'all. I really wish I had more for you today. But I guess today was a pretty action-packed, I mean, not action-packed, but I guess it was an uneventful vlog. So, I guess I shouldn't be too upset about that. But just like that, y'all, here goes my long, notorious outros. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Have a good one.